hanging out with Cody Johnson at the CMA Awards. Brother, you got a good ear because you got two songs nominated for Song of the Year <laughs> that you didn't write, but you got, a, you got the ear for it. So tell me how you pick these massive hits. Man, I, it comes from being a songwriter first and knowing who I am. And so when I hear these, obviously I'm not the best songwriter because if I was, I would already wrote them all. But when you hear these songs and you know, oh my God, that's a big hit. That's a that's a hit for me. And a lot of people have already passed on these songs. It, it, it Which is some, I've been asked like, does it bother you that somebody else has already passed on? And I'm like, no, because it wasn't for them. Nice. I know it's for me. And how do you know that? I don't know. There's something in my DNA that I just, when I hear one, I'm like, that's it. And I, I think, I don't know. It's maybe it's something I've developed over time. But then also I kind of go to like, and I don't mean this derogatory, but it's either you love it or you hate it. Don't leave a great, think about it if you were picking a spouse. I'm, I'm Maybe I do. Maybe I love them. Maybe it'll work itself out. No, you, you either love them or, you, or don't. you don't. That's right. And that's how you pick songs. Yeah. All right, I like that, man. You yeah. just put a deluxe album out. Yeah. So tell me how about it was, how was it to add more to what you already did? So we already had all of it done, and I didn't want to do a double album again because I feel like on Human, there was a lot of material that didn't get digested. We had two singles off of a double album. So Chris Lacey with Warner Music Nashville says, what if we split everything up, we do an album and give time for these singles and everything to be kind of digested, work their way into your set, work their way out, then we'll release the second half as okay. a deluxe. And I was like, I love it. It's a great I idea. A good idea. I might do it for the next record. <laughs> you're a good person at picking ideas, I can tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I just want to ask you about being at events like this. Every time I see you, like, since you do work with other songwriters, do you get to mingle at this? There's a lot of networking do ideas. Are they born at events like this? Maybe. I mean, sometimes, yeah, yes and no. Sometimes it's at the atmosphere of, like, we're all just here to have fun and just to just kind of, for lack of a better way, like, screw off for the night, you know, yeah. have some cocktails and enjoy ourselves. But, you know, like, you bump into people like Post Malone. Hey, man, you hunt. Uh, yeah, I hunt. Maybe we should go hunting together. What? Should we bring guitars? You know what I mean? Like, and who knows what that's going to bring. And as far as songwriters, I mean, yeah, there's always, man, I'd love to, I'd love to pitch you some songs. I'm like, send them over. Send them over. Okay. Well, what was your name again? And then you meet them, and then you develop that relationship. Well, I can't wait to say we broke hunting. Post Malone featuring Cody <laughs> Johnson right here with Billboard. <laughs> All right. And then Christmas songs are around the corner, man. So tell me, what do you what do you get prepared? What do you listen to? Man, I like listening to the old stuff. My favorite all-time Christmas record, I have it on vinyl, is Willie Nelson, Pretty Paper. Okay, I've been here so many classics tonight. Everybody's man, going it back. I literally just run the needle through that record the entire holiday season. And I love that he said run the needle. That means he's playing it on vinyl. That's only. on vinyl. I got my record player. <laughs> I love it, man. Well, congrats on everything, Cody, and I hope to see you win tonight. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it.